to think we were going to get any international rugby this year would have been seen nothing more than a dream a few months ago. But here we are, albeit a little later in the year, ready to kick off the Blederslow Cup here in the Capeton Sky Stadium. The Wallabies have arrived and the All Blacks are ready. It's Blederslow Cup rugby. It's international rugby. Get ready. It's back. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby where we are ready for our first international test match in the Southern Hemisphere. The All Blacks versus the Wallabies and this is one to really get excited for. Let's have a look at the two lineups for tonight's matchup and the All Blacks have gone with a pretty much expected lineup mostly with not too many surprises in their starting 15 whereas the Wallabies have gone with a good mix of the youth that has really come through Super Rugby AU and that experience that has been in the team for a number of years. The matchup in the front row will see Joe Moody, Cody Taylor and Alfred Tuanga Fussy go up against James Slipper, Flau Fuanga and Taliana Tupo in the number three jumper. Moving into that second round will be Patrick Tuiplotu and Sam Whitelock going up against Lucan Solokoloto and new man Matt Phillip in that middle of the pack. Moving to the back row, we can first look about Highlanders in this All Blacks team. Shannon Frizzell out in the dark for a number of years. Now back with the All Blacks heel partner, Captain Sam Kane and Artie Savia wearing the number eight. Up against them will be a new man in the Wallabies. Go green and gold, Harry Wilson at six. Michael Hooper will captain it from seven. And Pete Samu, the former Crusader, will line up at number eight. There is a battle of experience in the number nine jumper, Aaron Smith versus Nick White. Plenty of that as well in the number 10, Richie Mawanga for the All Blacks up against James O'Connor from the Reds at the Wallabies. Moving in to the back line on the left wing, it'll be George Bridge and Marika Korinbeti and the midfield, Jack Goodhue and Rico Ioani going up against Matt Tamua and another new man from the Reds, Hunter Paisami in 13. On the right wing, it's Jordi Barrett and Filippo Dalgunu, another Reds debutante. And then a fullback, Bowden Barrett, completes a double Barrett to 14 and 15 up against the Brumby, Tom Banks for the Wallabies. Of course, no test match is set without a full bench to look through. And you can see the All Blacks have gone with Coles, Tuino Fuaki, Lau Lala, Ba'ai, another debutante, Hoskins, Satutu, another one as well in the number 20 jumper, TJ Piranara, Leonard Brown, and it's another one, Caleb Clark, another new man to the All Blacks lineup in 23. For the Wallabies, it's Jordan Ulisi, Scotty Sio, Alan Alalatawa moving through, Rob Simmons, Rob Valentini completing the forward replacements, Gordon, Lola Sio, another new man in the Wallabies colours as well, and then Reese Hodge rounds it out, the Bristol man will wear 23 for the Wallabies. And of course, before we get the matchup underway, we'll be greeted at the first hacker on New Zealand soil for 400 days. They're back. International rugby's back, and the All Blacks are back as well. Barrett had him for the corner. Look at this, though. Great work from Dalgunu. 
gets it just down in the corner. And the assistant referee says, that's enough for me. That is an early try to the Wallabies. Well, they always say the biggest thing about these games is to take the effect of the crowd out of the match. And we may have just seen the Wallabies do that within minutes of the opening whistle. The conversion is successful from Matt Tamua. He adds two more in the Wallabies' lead early seven points to nil. An absolutely ferocious start from the visitors. And the dreams of that Bledisloe Cup returning back over the ditch has started off the best the possible way they could. Here's a good pick up, nicely done from the All Blacks. Jordy Barrett eventually it is pulled back for a forward pass from Sam Whitelock. But yes, Barrett on the right Crouch. wing for the All Blacks. Giving them that Fine. extra height and another fullback in Set. the team as such, along with his brother Bowden, who is wearing the 15 jumper. But it's a scrum for the Wallabies and it's a tidy one as well as they look to put players in motion here. Nick White goes to O'Connor, fired into the midfield of Paisami, he's on a forward pass. Looking to go back towards the set piece, Paisami just came Crouch. a little bit too much and will set down Fine. for our second scrum of the match, just eight and a half minutes set. into the game. Aaron Smith in the first real piece of possession here for the All Blacks. Xavier has it at his toes and the All Blacks doing the same thing now, sending players on the move, Moanga away to Barrett, he sweeps around and finds Goodyear looking on the outside, Jack Goodyear beats his man, he's got one to go pass in the back, but Tom Banks equal to the Tars, one on one defence there from the Brumbies fullback, very very good from the Wallabies, the All Blacks first real attacking motion is met with some good Wallaby defence, and now for Alfa Anger. Oh, that's a just taken throw at the front there. Lucan Solokoloto doing the work. Here's Slipper. Huge pass out to Tamua. Throws the dummy and goes on the outside. Now, here is the man you've got to watch out for. It's Marika Coronvetti. And they give it back to O'Connor now. The Wallabies. He kicks long over the head of Bridge. And Bowden Barrett has to wait for it. That is an atrocious bounce again. Moanga gets the ball for Barrett. Here's a chance for Bridge. Open field for George Bridge. No one in front of him. James O'Connor leads the charge. No charge. He's catching him. And George Bridge scores the first try of the All-Grand season. Just like that. Returning a kick as we know. The All Blacks so good at the counter-attack. And George Bridge is the benefactor. But how about this? From Bowden Barrett and Richie Moanga, that twin playmaker role. They combine to give a free run to George Bridge. And that is just what the All Blacks needed to kickstart their season, kickstart their game, even kickstart their half. They've had very little ball to play with. It was that connection of Moanga and Bridge, the two Crusaders. Of course, Super Rugby Aotearoa champions. That is why the ability to spark and the ability to produce out of nothing once again sees their team hit the scoreboard and a chance now leveled up through Richie Moanga on the left hand side. Simple shot at goal here for the number 10 and he makes no mistake about that. We're all tied up. Seven points apiece. The All Blacks hit back. As we near the halfway point of the opening 40 minutes of not only this game but the international season the All Blacks and the Wallabies fighting over the Bledisloe Cup deck kick down to Whitelock the offload to the tackle and George Bridge oh that's fantastic Bridge has got open field again and he will not be stopped the chase of Dalgunu a little bit better than what we see from O'Connor but it's the same place the same time it's George Bridge for two just like that an offload and the tackle from Sam Whitelock and away goes the bridge once again do we call it the Crusader connection you don't often see big gaping holes down the side on a kickoff like that the Wallabies overcommitted to the ball carrier they all huddled towards Whitelock look at them there's about six or seven of them and they were all within a semicircle around Whitelock he out offloaded beautifully to bridge who had no one there, his acceleration is absolutely pristine. And he scorches home, second try for the All Blacks now in quick succession. Pretty much the same place as we just seen Moanga dot the last one over, he has another go here and that is just 
calmly struck. From the All Blacks fly half, Mwanga doubles the score effectively. It's 14 points to seven now. Wallabies work to do. After such a great start, they have let themselves lax here a little bit. Especially off that kickoff, that is the last way you want to concede a try, especially after just conceding. Cody Taylor gets a little bit fancy and he's been pulled back by the referee. Ford pass to this time. Sam Whitelock feels the to repeat the dose. Bind. But the Wallabies will get away with that one now. Have Set. their own scrum feed on the kickoff. A very open, unfazed game so far. White. It's the call from O'Connor, who's running the sideways. A nice little set play. Finds Banks up at the line. Now he's got away to Coromini. Coromini, oh, that is a big tackle. Bernard Barrett has come flying out of nowhere and just hammered him. His swinging arm as it looked like Aaron Smith had him covered. Barrett comes along and just tees off on a high tackle. And he's really got to be careful about that. So here is Matt Tamua, a big kick here to get him back within a scoring chance of the lead. And Matt Tamua, well, it was just a tough conversion, wasn't it? He slots it, no problems at all. And the Wallabies get back in the game again. This is a very free-flowing, high-scoring match so far. 27 minutes gone, it's 14 points to 10. The Wallabies hit back with three. The All Blacks still hold that lead. Kicked off again and taken from Michael Hooper, who charges up, but he's lost the ball. Turn over to the All Blacks, and now they fire it quickly out wide. Chance for Jordy Barrett on the outside channels. Good tackle. Coming across on the 22, and they Please. shut him down. Smith goes short to Sam Kane, who almost slides through, and offload the tackle. Finds off for Twyla Fussy, but he can't find a way away from the sideline. He gives the ball away to the Wallabies. Flau flying, I loves to score tries on the back of Moors, but he won't be doing one from this far away as the Wallabies look to launch from their own at 22. Matt Tamua decides instead that they'll go for territory. Kick over halfway to Bowden Barrett at the back, and he's offloading nicely to George Bridge again. Those two a devastating form at the moment. Sophia! Oh, the pass to Cody Taylor. And we know how much Cody Taylor loves to run an open field. Crouch. How elusively quick Fine. he actually is. We are now Set. just five minutes away from the halftime break. This has been a very exciting opening 40 minutes between these two sides. You think maybe a little bit of rust, a little bit of confusion as these new players coming on through, but it's not the case. It's Hooper. It's taken in another big tackle. This time it looks like trouble. Sam Kane's been called over. Aaron Smith is there. It's the yellow card. Oh, the first yellow card of the international season. And it is the littlest man on the paddock, Aaron Smith. Who is sent to the bin for 10? And the Wallabies waste no time giving the ball to Matt Tamua. Pretty much run front, slightly to the right hand side. A man advantage now as well. And another three points to the total. The score is cut back to 14 13. Now the All Blacks lead is just one. And they have the man in the bin as well. Well, pressure on to end the half without conceding any more points here the All Blacks as Richie Moanga gets his back underway and it's again Michael Hooper who took that penalty of a high tackle from Aaron Smith and the Wallabies set up Nick White off floats nicely finding support there of Phillip and the ball's been lost it's been spilled it's been picked up by Not the All Blacks really it could be a penalty though to the Wallabies Sam Kane stole the ball but didn't have the support following the action it's given back to the Wallabies with the full penalty now and James O'Connor is going for the sidelines with the confidence knowing that his side will get the line out. We are just over 30 metres away from the All Blacks line. We are in to overtime in this half as we go to the middle. Matt Phillip pulls it in. He has been in extraordinary form over Super Rugby AU as the Wallabies look to attack down this right hand edge. Just again, Dalguna who sparks Race. it in the beginning. Wallabies get the offload game once again, running nicely. Nick White's up towards the 22. Turnover from Sam Frizzell. And now the All Blacks look to play fancy. It's there for Rico Yuani. He's thrown into set pass. Now Slipper has a charge Race. in the 22. The All Blacks just could not get their hands on the ball. I'm sure they would have loved to have kicked that out. Full of again, Nick White having a charge. This is a crucial time to put points on the board here for either side. 
Samu! Running! Pete Samu! Look out to your right, Pete! There's plenty! Release. There was support for days out there! Couldn't find Dalgunu! Here's White going to Hooper. Beats one man. Oh, finds Fianga. And another high tackle. And lucky Bowden Barrett stays on the field. He should be sitting on the sidelines of Aaron Smith right now. Well, speaking of Aaron Smith, he's come back already. What a rapid 10 minutes that is. How do the All Blacks look at that? We're 11 minutes into extra time in the first half. And the Wallabies will slow it all down. And they, well, should end proceedings here with a penalty shot at goal, which will give them the lead into the break. As Matt Zemur adds three more points, that is his third successful penalty tonight. And that gives Australia the lead, 16-14 over New Zealand as we head to half time. The Wallabies in front on the scoreboard, but both sides have been throwing everything they have at the other side's defence. Let me go to the stats of the halftime break. We can see that it is the All Blacks who are just nudging it on possession and territory, but the yellow card period certainly did hurt their chances of coming away of that first half lead. There's a lot of work on defence, and their hands certainly are letting them down. Eight handing errors, just three by the Wallabies. So I want to clean that up in the second 40. As the players are out, ready to go. The second 40 minutes of this opening season matchup of international rugby, the Blitzlow Cup. Gets back underway, Sam Whitelock again to Bridge, and Bridge breaches the line, shows a dummy, round the outside of Banks he goes, Bridge running away from Gorobini, and Bridge will score another try, oh he's a fantastic ball at the moment, George Bridge, that's a hat-trick. Well, how do you stop a man in scintillating form like this? It was a replay of what happened, and that second try, this time, there was a fullback covering. Corabini gave chase, but he didn't quite have the legs to stop George Bridge going into that favoured left-hand corner yet again. And it was Sam Wylock. Beautiful work from Bridge. He got up to that last defender. He showed the ball. He gave a little fake to the outside support, which was Adi Savia ready to go. And that's all he did. He showed, and he went. And that, again, changes the lead back to the All Blacks. George Bridges having an absolute blinder. 19-16, the score. Here is Richie Moanga, another good kick there from the number 10. And the All Blacks lead now stretches out to five points. But George Bridge, goodness me, keep him out of the game at your peril. Wallabies, your kickoff, sort it out. You've got to defend that channel down the sideline. O'Connor gets his back underway. You see, same thing again. This time they actually tackle Whitelock. Good tackle by Matt Tamilla. There is Aaron Smith again, and it's George Bridge once more. Can he get away this time? No, they finally stop him. Tom Banks puts in a tackle that all of Australia was cheering for. Here is well, Frizzell, he's gone straight to touch there. A pass he wasn't expecting, he was holding on the side of the ruck. And Aaron Smith gave him the ball, said had a little go there, but it wasn't the play that the All Blacks had in mind, that's for sure. Flau flying a throw, Sam Kane steals, and the All Blacks get it back. It's been a long time since we've seen the Wallabies with the ball here. It's good here, puts a little chip over the top of the defensive line. But Dalgunu is back there to drag it in for the Wallabies. White, a pick and go from Nick White, he spotted hold of the round, then slipped through nicely, another high tackle. This time it's Jack Goodhue, and it's going to be another yellow card for the All Blacks. Well, they paid last time they had a man in the bin, Aaron Smith was that one. Now it's Jack Goodhue, and another high tackle by the All Blacks. We spoke at halftime just briefly about how the uh, poor hands were leading them away in this matchup. The All Blacks making a lot more handing errors than the Wallabies and it was costing them throughout this game so far but now we're seeing that ill discipline in the tackle certainly costing them big time on attacking chances. This game is still tight and close. It's only a five pointer. It's this time Hooper wins it at the back. White goes out to a rampage and Corabini at first receiver and the Wallabies got numbers out here. It's Tom Banks coming into the line. Tom Banks! Oh brilliant for the Wallabies! The fullback up in the line and he makes it pay instantly for the Wallabies. Well that's what you get when you have that extra man up in your line. 
Tom Banks. He's fast and he is very elusive. Coravini, he drew the players in. He's a danger man as well. Hunter by Sami, beautifully feeding it off to Tom Banks. And a straight run in for a man of his capabilities. That was a simple finish. Just go show what the Wallabies can do here. A little bit of set piece ball, a little bit of space and time. And they can wreak havoc. Jordy Barrett will be, well, nothing short of disappointed of that def defensive effort there. It was a very poor one from the right winger. And now an easy conversion for Tamua. We'll put the Wallabies back in the lead. Well, there is just over 20 minutes remaining. It is 23 at 21. The Wallabies over the All Blacks here in the Cainton and Wellington. First match of international rugby has been a spectacle so far, a true spectacle of what these teams are capable of. And the Wallabies have taken this in, but the All Blacks will be taking it out. It's there for Wallach. Aaron Smith fires it. Goes ball on the outside. And who else but George Prince? Oh, he's got four. He is unstoppable. George Prince grabs another. And just like that, after all the hard work of the Wallabies, the All Blacks just strike straight back. Well, it was Whitelock there playing scrum half. And oh, off a two on a fussy. What a pass from the big man. It looked like he went short to Aaron Smith, but no, it was the big unit. The tight head prop. Tuanga Fassi. There was Smith. Look at that wild old pass. And how he got it out that far. The absolutely amazing skills of the big men in this team. The forward pack with the capabilities and the skills to pass and offload and to run like backline players is something truly spectacular. Here is Richie Malanga to add another two. He's flawless as well. Great night for George Bridge. Four tries. And an All Blacks jumper is, well, no easy feat. But he has been on tip-top form here tonight. It's underway me go again. O'Connor goes short. Sam Kane off by Samoanga. Oh, look out. They fire it out wide. Here he is, Patrick Twiponto. Rumbling upfield and a turnover ball to the Wallabies. That was too easy. Tariana Tupo finds open spaces. Here's a beautiful ball to Hunter Poisami. What a line from the red centre. And he'll score for the Wallabies. Oh, it's a try fest. And it's all happening here in the Cape 10. And it's all on for young and old. The Wallabies strike back through Paisami. A debut try for the Reds outside centre. Well, they kept the ball alive. Flau playing a little inside pass. Hooper was involved there as well. And the line from Hunter Paisami was truly extraordinary. Hard to stop. Tupo started it, he was firing it past the Hooper who switched the play back on the inside. And Hunter Paisami had a clean run in. And in his first Wallabies appearance, he dots down for his first Wallabies try. Well, that's right, ties it all back up. And Matsu Miller. A chance to put the Wallabies back in the front, and he does exactly that. Right in front of the sticks. It is 30 points to 28. Hold on to your hats, folks. Oh my goodness, I forgot good he was even off the field. He's back. And the All Blacks are back to 15. What difference will that make for the last quarter of an hour? 15 on 15 yet again. The All Blacks have suffered two yellow cards here today. That really has cost them against the Wallaby scene that has taken their chances. And now I'll look to add a bit of misery on the outside. It's here is Cora Benny. He is gone. Aaron Smith leads to chase, but no one will stop. Marika Cora Benny on the outside channels this time. The Wallabies do what the All Blacks have done about three times here today. And they've scored one with some poor outside defense. Marika Cora Benny, that's a try to remember. And that also puts the Wallabies over 
a try with the conversion, provided they get the conversion over a try in front of the All Blacks. As we are nearing that final 10 minutes of the game, fireworks are absolutely going off here. Look at Salako Loto, he drew in the defenders. He just gave that 50 50 to the winger of the All Blacks, the defensive play of Jordy Barrett. He didn't want to come in, but Solika Loto just did enough to pull him off Corabetti. That was enough space to get him on the outside, and he was gone from that point. Now, Tamua, a very important kick here. The lead is seven. He can make it nine, and he does. The Wallabies in control now. They lead by nine points out of the All Blacks in Blennerstone number one. Well, the sun is getting low now over the edges of the stadium. As we get the game back underway, Sky Stadium is the venue. The case in Wellington. It is all in the favour of the All Blacks, but they are the team trailing at the moment. As the Wallabies try and exit their 22. But he's struggling now with this ball. Nick White, he can't see it. But it is on the other side. Aaron Smith can. It's there for Tuanga Fasi. Switches back to Moanga. They're going out to the left side. Look who's there. Works George Bridge. And he slips it back inside. And Shannon Frizzell is the one. Look at this ball. Brilliant ball from the All Blacks. Charging upfield. Sam Kane into midfield. Brilliant work on the outside. Rico Yolani to Johnny Barrett. And he'll get the try for the All Blacks. That puts him right back in this game. Oh, it is a seesawing battle. Johnny Barrett scores the try. And the All Blacks are now within a chance of scoring again and stealing the lead in the dying moments. Look who was in that ball. Bowden Barrett was in there. Everyone was involved, pushing it forward, driving it forward for the All Blacks. Bodenberra jumped in, as did Rico Iwani. Fantastic work for the Ford Pack and the backs alike. And that is a very, very important try for the All Blacks. Richie Moanga's conversion, but not so important as the one earlier from Matamua but still this will put them within two points and a chance for a drop goal, a penalty anything like that could win it for them it is successful are you surprised these two goal kickers have been just perfect tonight, there's no other way to describe it, they have missed nothing 37 35 Two and a half minutes remaining for the All Blacks to get back in the lead. Tulanga Fassi, beautiful. Cody Taylor, Sam Kane, Bowden Barron. Bowden Barron breaks the line. He looks out wide for his brother. It's Johnny Barron. It's two in about three minutes. Johnny Barron will break the hearts of the Wallabies. And the All Blacks will steal Blinners no one in the dying depths of the Embers. The stadium erupts. Johnny Barron and the All Blacks have stolen it from a very, very tough one of these units. Well, Bonin Barrett's the man. He's the one. When you need a miracle, you call on the Barrett's. Bonin breaks the line, draws the fullback Tom Banks, finds his brother on the outside. Then it's a play. Their communication, their combination. It's something that has been trained for years. Those two are just a magical link. And they have proved the difference here for the All Blacks, who will pip the Wallabies at the absolute death here at Sky Stadium. What a finish. And look at the face of Richie Moanga. Calm, collected, because he knows his team has won, regardless of his perfect kicking record. His side have won, and they will take Linus 01 away from the Wallabies and secure the only test of the year to the home team. The All Blacks, they take it, but only just. Well, you've got to give a lot of credit here to the Wallabies, how good they were throughout this game. And up until minute 79, they were in the box seat to win it. They led by nine with just 10 minutes to play. But it proved to be not quite enough as the All Blacks come storming home at the end. 42-37, a lot of point scorers, so let's go through them. Six tries for the All Blacks, four from Bridge, two from Geordie Barrett, six out of six 
for Richie Moanga. As for Australia, Corinbidi scored one. There's Marika Corinbidi, Hunter Paisami, Flippo Dalgunu, and Tom Banks, all with one each. Matt Samua, four out of four conversions, but more importantly, three out of three penalty goals. Well, let's have a quick look at some stats here before we wrap up, shall we? And we can see it was a tight game, but the All Blacks were the better side throughout, according to the stats. More possession, more territory, but what really cost them was the ill-discipline, the yellow cards, and the penalty goals. You can see there, the Wallabies picked up three penalty goals that effectively, nine points, that's more than a try, just about put them in enough to take away the win. Both sides defended very valiantly throughout, but it was the offloading and keeping the ball alive that really struck this game very well. Eight handing errors from the All Blacks. They cleaned it up from the first half, which was about the same number. But that is it. Blenders Own Cup Test Match. Number one is done and dusted. The All Blacks victors 42-37 over Australia. Hope you will enjoy today's matchup here on Rugby Challenge 4. It is brilliant to have international rugby back on our screens yet again. How did you think the game went? Who did you think was going to win it? And what was your thoughts on the matchup? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you all next time for plenty more international rugby next weekend. we got Bledders though too. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Until then, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming into the channel and watching a video and I'll see you all next time. Until then though, take care.